So in this example, we are going to be looking at the relationship between GFM and the molar volume. The question asks, what volume in litres of carbon dioxide would be produced by completely reacting 60 grams of carbon with oxygen? And the balanced equation has been given. So we first have to take down the entities. That's the things from the balanced equation that we have been given information about. We're given information about carbon and carbon dioxide. We then have to do the mole ratio. There's no number in front of the carbon, which tells us we have one. And there's no number in front of the carbon dioxide and the balanced equation, which tells us we also have one mole. We then look at the information so we can multiply the number of moles through by the units. We are given a mass of carbon in the question, which means we're going to times that by GFM. So we'll write down GFM times one. The carbon dioxide, we want to work in volume. So we're going to do one times 24 litres. We then have to substitute in the GFM. If we look that up, the GFM of carbon is 12. So 12 grams times one produces one times 24 litres. When we multiply that out, that tells us that 12 grams produces 24 litres. In the question, however, we do not have 12 grams. We have been given 60 grams of carbon. We're going to do a cross multiplying to scale over. So we have 24 litres times 60 grams divided by 12. And that gives us a total of 120 litres. This past paper question is from the higher 2017 written 9 B part 2. Hydrogen peroxide decomposes to form water and oxygen. The balanced equation is given. A dishwasher tablet produces 0 0.051 grams of hydrogen peroxide, which has a mass or a GFM of 34 grams. Calculate the volume of oxygen that would be produced when 0 0.051 grams of hydrogen peroxide decomposes. Take the volume of one mole of oxygen of gas to be 24 litres. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to take down the entities that we have from the question. So the question gives us information about hydrogen peroxide. So we take that from the balanced equation and it wants us to calculate the volume of oxygen. We then do our mole ratio. We've got a two in front of the formula for hydrogen peroxide and we don't have a number in front of the oxygen, which tells us we have one. We then have to decide which unit we're working in. We can see that the information they're giving us is mass of hydrogen peroxide. So we do GFM times two. And the question wants us to work out the volume of oxygen and it's given us our constant as 24 litres. So we do one times 24 litres. When we look up the GFM of hydrogen peroxide, it's 34 grams times two. And we have one times 24 litres for our oxygen. When we calculate that out, that means that 68 grams of hydrogen peroxide can produce 24 litres of oxygen. We don't have 68 grams. In the question, they say that we have 0 0.051 grams. So now we have to cross multiply. 24 litres times 0 0.051 grams divided by 68 gives us a total volume of 0 0.018 litres. This past paper question is from the higher 2016 written 3b. Phosphine is used as an insecticide in the storage of grain. Phosphine can be produced by the reaction of water with aluminium phosphide. The balanced equation is given. 2.9 kilograms of aluminium phosphide were used in a phosphine generator. Calculate the volume of phosphine gas in litres that would have been produced. Take the volume of one mole of phosphine to be 24 litres. So we first have to take down the entities from the balanced equation that it speaks about in the question. So we are working with aluminium phosphide. The formula is ALP and we're working with phosphine gas, which is produced, which is our pH3. We then do our mole ratio. There's no number in front of either of those, which tells us we have a ratio of one to one. We then look to, at the information to decide which unit we're working in. We can see that we've been given a mass of aluminium phosphide. 
So we do GFM times 1 and we want to work out the molar volume. So we are doing 1 times 24 litres for the phosphine gas. We then substitute in the GFM for aluminium phosphides. So we've got 58 times 1, which gives 1 times 24 litres of our phosphine gas. When we calculate that out, 58 grams produces 24 litres. We have not been given 58 grams. In the question, we've been given 2.9 kilograms, but we need to make sure it's in the same unit. So we'll change that to 2,900 grams. We now need to cross multiply. 24 litres times 2,900 grams divided by 58 gives us a total volume of 1,200 litres. In this example, we are going to show the relationship between one mole and the molar volume. What volume in litres of hydrogen would be produced by completely reacting 60 centimetres cubed of hydrochloric acid of concentration 1.2 mole per litre with zinc? And the balanced equation is given. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to take down the entities, that's the substances from the balanced equation, that we've been given information about. We've been given information about the hydrochloric acids, 2HCl, and we want to calculate the volume of hydrogen, which has the formula H2. We then do the mole ratio. We have got a 2 in front of the HCl, so we'll write down 2. And there's no number in front of the H2 in the balanced equation, which means we only have 1. We need to then multiply through by the unit we're working in. Now, we can see that we have been given a concentration and a volume of our hydrochloric acid. Using our triangles, we can calculate the number of moles. Number of moles is equal to C times V. Number of moles is equal to 1.2 times 0 0.06, which will give us a total number of moles as 0 0.072. So the unit we want to multiply through by this time is one mole. So we'll write one mole times two produces one times, and we're working in 24 litres for the hydrogen. When we write that out and multiply it, that means that two moles of hydrochloric acid should produce 24 litres of hydrogen gas. However, we do not have two moles of hydrochloric acid. We have calculated that we have 0 0.072 and we have to cross multiply to scale. So we have 24 litres times by 0 0.072 moles and divide that by 2 and that will give us a total volume of 0 0.24 litres of hydrogen gas.